Vince was traded on December the 17th, 2004. And it's not as if the Raptors have gone on any kind of extended winning streak since the deal. And we'll get inside the deal a little bit because now it's becoming a clearer picture with exactly what the Raptors have received, draft picks included. We'll do that as we continue along. Officiating crew, Steve Javi, Leroy Richardson, Gary Zielinski. Raptors control the tip. Toronto looking for its sixth consecutive victory. The Nets opening up a four-game road trip and trying to win number 10 in a row. Peterson, aggressive move. Started. And we talked about Carter to begin with from an offensive standpoint and what kind of reception he had there. Well, Peterson went right at Vince Carter defensively to make Vince play him a little bit and keep Vince active early here. There is Christich. Double team comes from James. Kid wide open. That's a three. Boy, James just lost defensively on Kid. Nice little stroke. There's that extra pass, though. Good start for Jay Kidd. Kidd coming off his 69th career triple-double. 13 points, 13 assists, 11 rebounds in the win over Orlando. James, he put it over Christich, but Maynard comes up with the defensive rebound. Well, that's one of the things James does well. Carter, wow, whoa. Just laid a Canadian brick. <laughs> Nets with a 3-2 lead. And Graham off the mark. Richard Jefferson a little slow getting the half court. Something's up with him, I think. Drive, Christich, and denied by Araujo, but Jefferson is back because he never made it down the floor. Yeah, Jefferson's struggling out there. I think they're going to have to call a timeout. I didn't see what happened, but he kind of half walked to... Enough. So Carter will shift over and play the three. And Kidd and Vaughn share the backcourt with Collins, Christich, and Carter now up front. Christich... Kick out on a repost. Double team. Vaughn, ball movement. Carter is booed. Wow. That's a second air ball. If the first one was a Canadian brick, what was that one? <laughs> I'm not sure. Toronto Tumbler. <laughs> Just anything that has alliteration, Jimmy. I, I don't know if you've seen my trend. <laughs> Here's, pardon, pardon me. <laughs> James, double team. He's in some trouble. Peterson, shot clock at three. The step through and the jumper doesn't go. Let's see if Vince takes the basketball towards the basket. There you go. Dishing. And Vaughn unable to hit. Collins comes up with the offensive rebound as it went through the hands of Nated Christich in a reset. Well, they're going to let Vince Carter hear it, I guess, huh? Carter gives up his dribble. Kidd has accounted for the only Nets points. Long rebound, Christich can't sit. So the Nets have opened up now one of six from the field. And for the most part, it's been from the outside, too, Ian, which I'm sure Lawrence Frank is going to address as this quarter progresses just to get more activity going towards the basket. Raptors up by one, about three minutes gone by in this opening quarter. And some activity inside. Collins was trying to stick with his man. And gets charged with a personal foul. So the matchups right now. Kidd has Peterson. Christich on Araujo. Collins on Bosch. Vaughn on James. And Carter dealing with Graham. Baseline. Outside. Peterson. It's amazing how Peterson always finds the corners, Ian, and seems like he finds them against the Nets all the time. And better awareness has to be done on him this afternoon. Second field goal for Morris Peterson. Carter operating in the lane, knocks it down. And you notice just a little bit closer than his first two heaves that went up, and there were not good shots by Vince Carter, but they're a better opportunity to put something down and go for it. Jump shot, Bosch. And Christich with the board. Kid, cross court for Carter. Takes out Peterson. And short on the pull up. Christich follows it and doesn't get the roll. Without Jefferson in the lineup, actually, Vaughn with James, not a bad little matchup. And as that said, Jefferson comes walking right before us. Araujo. 
pumping the fist after the jumper. Jefferson goes directly to the scorer's table and will check in next dead ball. There's Kidd. Swings it. Carter on a fadeaway. Book it. I think he's going to take the challenge. I think so. <laughs> he, he is not going to back down. Looks very aggressive, especially with all the noise against him. He is two of five from the field, coming off a 31-point performance in that victory over the Magic on Friday. Here's Graham directing traffic. Eight to shoot. Now they'll try Bosch. Runs oh. into Collins. Walking foul is the call. Gary Zielinski on the baseline. Lawrence Frank gets a technical. Steve Jabby was around the Nets bench area. Lawrence Frank. Now that's great defense. I don't know how you're going to cut it any other way. I don't know about that. Collins had the perfect position. Bosch runs him over. And free throw is no good. Basically, argue the call. You just can't come onto the floor the way that no. you did. No problem with Lawrence coming out on the floor there to defend his players either. Well, now Chavi and Lawrence Frank sharing a lap. Raptors missed on the free throw. Here's James. Shot clock down to three. Bombs away from three-point range. Rebounded by Carter. Carter. Short. And it could be a tendency for Vince Carter to try to do too much also. Long oh. and slam. Joey Graham. The athletic rookie soaring through the air. And Lawrence Frank wants a 20-second timeout. Something to excite the crowd other than Vince Carter here, and they found it with a quick delivery and fast break, catching the Nets slow to get back and react defensively. And we will also keep an eye on... You see an end-to-end -end play right here. Good off defensive rebounding. James, the catalyst, gets the basketball, and he's directing traffic and puts one right on the money. I don't believe that it has something to do with the lower back. I am just taking a guess from a player's perspective. Because once that lower back, every so often you feel like you can go on it, and then it comes right back. Collins sits. Robinson is in. Kidd forces his way inside for the layup. Great example of how Kidd used his upper body and his left shoulder to get around the defender to get to the glass. So the Nets have Vaughn, Kidd, Kristich, Robinson, and Carter. For Toronto, James, Bosch, Graham, Peterson, and Araujo. We are yet to see a change on the floor. Here's Bosch going with the bank. Carter racing ahead. Raptors get back defensively. Crossover. Oh, he's trying to oh, oh, what a feed! Christich couldn't put it home. Charged up and watch him come through the lane and Christich is going to just slip to the basket as the players defensively start to come at Carter thinking he's going to look for his scoring opportunities. White shirts step in. That's when you release the basketball. Terrific look by Carter and the Nets passing the ball well in that set. Number third loss to the Raptors. He had 10 points, four rebounds. And if memory serves in the victory here, back in November, Christage had a tough time finishing around right. the rim. He sure did. Remember he was doing a little bit of the flips mm -hmm. instead of challenging and throwing his body towards the rim, which he's done a little a better job of throughout the course of the uh, last six weeks or so. Tied at 10. We are past the midway point. First quarter. Bosch kick out. Extra feet. Here's Graham from the wing. Rims out. Well, you see a little better passing by the Raptors also. Kid, oh, blind feed, Kristich the clear out and the layup. Once again, Kristich is doing a very nice job, Ian, of filling the middle of the floor, going right down from point A to point B, straight down the middle of the floor to quickly establish position for himself. And the Nets take a 12-10 lead. And it helps when you have Kid and Carter making nice passes to him also. Robinson allowing Bosch to shoot it. And the whistle on the arm, Clifford Robinson extending on that Bosch jump shot. Free throw is coming. Drive right if you can. Leads the Raptors with the improvement. Look at the numbers. Five-point jump. And then another five-point yeah, jump. Well, that's pretty dramatic when you think about it. So Bosch knocks down a pair. Spreading the floor. Kid finds the cutter. Finishes on the inside. What kind of shot was that just then? Not sure. <laughs> it's amazing what he does when he gets it down low. Most guys are turning and like shooting turnaround jump shots. 
When you're up in the air that long, you can really be creative. Carter now with six points on three of seven from the field. And the Nets lead by two, just under five minutes to play first quarter. Nets is a team, 43%. Raptors, 42%. Knock away by Carter and a steal. Lead feed, kid. Carter, the bounce. Vaughn underneath. Contact from Araujo. And a foul. And that's the... You look at it from the defensive end, Lawrence Frank talking, we'll get better and better if our defense gets better, and here you see it, an opportunity to push and get the ball down the floor, even though you have Vaughn instead of one of your bigger guys being the guy out of you, get good opportunities regardless. of Coming for Jacques Vaughn. Nets have been outstanding on the road, eight and six, and they'll have their work cut out for them in this month. In fact, 10 of the next 12 games on the road for the Nets. Start of a four-game trip here today. There's Bosch, one-on-one with Robinson. Youngster against the veteran, and it's youth winning out. You know, and you talked about that the travel schedule coming up for January. Wasn't it the other night that we were just talking about the six-day layoff that the Nets had? You're right. How quickly you forget. Carter, unable to hit. James using the Bosch screen. The jump shot goes down for Mike James. Doesn't he have a confident look to him when he shoots the basketball? He's been on a sensational roll over the last five games, their winning streak. But this team has a little different look. I know it's only still early in this game, but they look different in terms of the way they're playing. Here's Vaughn going inside. James comes up with a defensive play. Ahead, Graham. Backing down Kidd. Foul called on Kidd. Points, five and a half rebounds per game coming off the bench. There's James circling all the way to the rim. Foul called. Wow, the Nets certainly won oh. outside. Mike James for Rafer Alston. Not even, a, there's no balancing act there whatsoever. This guy has really stepped up, James, and Alston's still doing a little chewing in the papers. I don't mm -hmm. know if you noticed that or not, but it's just, woof. Still uh, negative comments from him about the organization, but boy, James has really been a positive effect. Raptors up by two, Vaughn feeding inside. Christich fakes on the drop step, but can't hit the rainbow delivery. Good job by James getting back and help out as a guard like Jason Kidwood, rebound from the point position. And the Nets are down to 37% shooting. James with a hand in his face, he nails the triple. He missed one of those earlier, and when I was watching him shoot, I said to myself, boy, does that look confident? That looks like he feels that that ball's going in. He missed, but not on that one. Still a good look to the body. And a 9-0 run. Carter, the leaner. Really aggressively looking for opportunities. That time off a screen, gets a high screen, and Vince with a little bit of a drift towards the hoop. Better, be, better to be drifting towards it than away. Raptors lead by three. Oh, good. Peterson loses the ball. And a foul called as Vaughn was scooping it up. We talked about the Nets passing the ball, and even we showed how the bench has been coming out and running the same sets passing the ball. So let's see if they can continue to execute. Now, you might recall before that timeout, it looked like Jacques Vaughn was fouled with a clear path, but Steve Javi's call was that Vaughn did not have possession. Carter, off balance. Right up. Saved to Paget the dish. And the former Raptor, Lamon Murray, lays it in. And a nice spot where Paget ended up on the floor just then. The Raptors throwing it back in bounds underneath their own basket, which is obviously the number one rule against doing that. And that's good, an easy one for it. James swings it. Villanueva. It's a tough shot. <laughs> a floater. Nets have Vaughn, Murray, Carter, Christich, and Paget. Here's Paget. Fates on the three. Villanueva bites. And Paget makes him pay. He sure does. Paget really doing a good job shooting the ball from long range, about 47% from three. So if you're scouting him, you want to charge out there and not let him take it, but good use of the one dribble shot. And the Nets go back in front. Peterson comes up short. Vaughn pushing tempo. Down to a minute 22 to go in this first quarter. Setting up the offense, Kristich. Bodied up by Bosch, now lays back a bit. Double team. Right back to the post. Christich operating. Oh, that's pretty. It sure is, and a good decision by Carter out front. The Nets have been doing that much better over the last couple of weeks. Hitting the post with the first pass, if it's not there to center, will kick it back out, and then he'll get it back for an easier opportunity. 
eight nothing run for the Nets Good. following the 9-0 run for the Raptors and Villanueva knocks down the short run. Well, Vaughn did a nice just did a nice job guarding James just then with the exchange back and forth and then Villanueva using his 6-10 frame or so to shoot right over him. Carter nice look oh the cut to the goal by Kristich and Carter got him in stride fans didn't even have time to boo Carter that time they just started and next thing you know no, Christich was dunking no, the ball. I, I heard <laughs> buh. Buh. that's it buh. that's all they got out stutter that time there's Peterson in the corner Bosch nice job by Vaughn Jacques Vaughn picking Chris Bosch's pocket and the Nets could hold for one Raptors have a foul to give ten seconds left Lawrence Frank called out a play to Carter. Six seconds left. Carter against his close friend Peterson. Outside, Murray got it for three. Well, it is a mistake by the Raptors not using the foul, huh? 2.8 left. Peterson Whoa. from midcourt. <laughs> and he comes up just short. Cutting it around, sharing the ball. And the Nets, 12 field goals thus far, 10 assists the rest of the day. Start of the second quarter. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarco, the rest of our Yes Network crew here in Toronto. Nets looking to make it 10 in a row. We'll reset the lineups in a moment. There's Carter, swings it, patch it, open look at a three. And rebounded by Calderon. There's the back in by Villanueva. Rebound, Bosch kept it alive and was able to tip it to himself. Went a long way to get that ball also. Looking to get Villanueva involved against Padgett. Double team on Peterson, now Padgett backs off. Nice help by Vaughn also. Villanueva sees an opening. Oh. And somehow gets that one to drop. If Villanueva is gonna make a decision from 17 feet away, I to put the ball on the floor and go down the middle, someone has to step in to take that charge. Nets have Vaughn, Murray, Padgett, Carter, and Christich. And Lamont Murray. Everybody talking about Vince Carter coming back. How about Lamont Murray, who spent three years as a member of the Raptors? 31-25. Nets have gotten 11 points from their reserves. And a foul out front on Murray against Jalen Rose. And let's give you the five on the floor for Toronto. They go right at a guy coming off the bench with Bosch with the basketball. And Bosch gets around Jackson. Looked like Jackson had recovered, but the officials saw it differently. 35 minutes or so waiting to get into the game. A little stiff, and you go right at him. One out of two. Kid is on the bench with five points, four assists. He played nine minutes in that first quarter. And both teams going with their... Shorter lineups right now. Vaughn, little fake on Calderon. That was creative, couldn't stick it in. Jackson tips the ball to himself, gets pushed by Bosch, leans in, and gets the roll. Well, because Vaughn comes down the middle of the floor, it does not allow guys defensively to pick up their man to block out. Jackson just kind of worked his way through. Jalen Rose took the opening for the slam. And Lawrence Frank probably thinking, where is my rotation defensively on that one? No one there to help out. And once again, you get a guy starting his move from 15 feet or so. You should have somebody defensively there to help out in the secondary. Jackson did not see any minutes the last two games. Murray fouled in the act. And Lamont Murray will shoot a pair. We talked about three seasons with the Raptors. And it's fourth stop, the Nets. And a foul called to boot. Murray misses on two, and Jackson has picked up his second personal. Nine forty-one to play in this first half, and the third team foul against the Nets. That was a loose ball foul on Jackson. Yeah, it looked like he and Bonner are pushing a little bit, and jockeying for position. Sam Mitchell. Second year as the head coach of the Raptors. Got some rocky times here. But they seem to be finally getting it. Bonner stripped away, gets it back, and saves for Rose. Dishing. Now Bonner 
This has been a sloppy possession. Blocked from behind. You got a layup. Vaughn is looking to beat Calderon. Finds Murray darting to the rim for the jam. Nice look by Vaughn right there, recognizing he was in a little bit of a traffic mode just then. Couldn't really look to his left before he gathered in the ball, but then found Murray with a nice little look. Calderon to Bonner. Rose, he's not shot. No, he's three. never been shy. Up until that shot, though, with Rose shooting it from long range, I thought the Raptors were really trying to attack the Nets without many shot blockers on the floor at both ends. Jalen Rose now coming off the bench for this Raptor team. Morris Peterson was inserted into the starting lineup. Carter, here's some booze. Double team, needs help. And a giveaway. Numbers, Rose, foul. And Carter and Rose got tied up at the end. So the Nets now have Kidd, Vaughn, Carter, Padgett, and Robinson. And Vaughn put a little too high for Kidd, out of bounds. Five on the floor for the Raptors, Calderon, Bonner, Bosch, Rose, and James. I like the thought process there the last time with Kidd posting up against Calderon. They can get a shot with Jason down here with his strength. Rose, help from Padgett. James, corner. That's a three. And this is where that can be a problem for the Nets right now. They obviously know they're in foul trouble with the team fouls, so the Raptors are going to start to plug the ball down to the middle of the floor. If they start kicking it out and hitting their shots, could have a little problem for the Nets. James, first player to double figures. He has 10. Double team on Kidd. Finds the open man. Padgett. Unable to hit the three. Pops back to him. And now Robinson will reset. Nated Christens getting ready to check in. Next dead ball. Kid. Give and go. Vaughn got the bump from Bosch. All right, watch at the end of this play as Vaughn comes through. Watch his body lead first. So he then looks for the contact initially, and then you see him look up for the bear right there, and it goes in. So be it. Jacques Vaughn has been aggressive here today. But the Mets are not hit. Toronto 11 of 13. Jeff McInnes getting ready to check in. And that's one out of two for Jacques Vaughn. That's down by two. To Christogen for Padgett. McGinnis will probably take Vaughn's spot. And he has gone back to the old hairstyle. Here's Bosch. One-on-one -on -one with Robinson. Bonner. The drive. And a short pop doesn't go. Better job by the blue shirts just then. Nice job defensively. Kid. Swings it to Vaughn, couldn't handle it initially. And Kidd amongst the trees, ends up on his backside. Calderon, the cutter, Bosch. How tall is Bosch, 5'11"? The way he got down the floor just then. Man, did he ever bust out the right side of the floor. Nice delivery also. Gazelle-like at 6'10", running hard to the hole. Robinson looking for some high-low action. This is Kidd, Vaughn, same spot, and this time he knocks it down. It's just amazing how much mileage they get out of good, strong dribbles into the paint. Vaughn really stepping up, looks confident shooting the ball from the left side that trip. And once again, he's got James at the defensive end. Robinson lost Bonner. Bonner can't hit on the inside. Now Bonner's got it. Bonner may have been out of bounds when that ball hit him just yep. then. So the Nets will take over. Watch when Bonner hits the floor, and then let's see if the ball comes down and hits him. Yep. 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 Well, he's still out of bounds. He's considered out of bounds, even though half of him is in bounds and the other is sitting on the line. A little officiating for you. Now. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to let that one go because you sounded so confident. And McGinnis has checked in, replacing Vaughn. Here's Carter. Eight points on four of ten shooting. Carter. Rejected by Bosch. McGinnis to Robinson. And the three won't go. James up the floor. Runs into Kidd. No call. Peterson. That's a three. He just seems to find spots against the Nets. Usually in the corners that time on the wing. But once again, notice the trend too. High in the way the Nets have won the last nine games where they've been pushing the ball. Seeing a little bit out of what the Raptors are doing to the Nets right now, looking for opportunities. Seven points for Peterson. Bonner, Carter. Yep, Bonner with the step in on him. And Carter got up a little bit gimpy. 
Five on four, Peterson. Bonner! Nobody checked him! I've left really have to come together here, make sure this lead doesn't go in the opposite direction. Raptors largest lead of this first half. Here's Carter. Inside Vince Carter. They able to take it at Matt Bonner. And clearly when the Nets need a hoop, they're trying to get the ball to Carter to let him get it five, seven feet away and let him do something, hopefully to end up at the line. A nice scoring opportunity right there. And here's Bonner on the other end, short. Carter with a rebound. He's in double figures with 10. One on one with Peterson. Carter gives it up and gets it back. It's an isolation. Carter, spin move into traffic. Tip in, goes down for Kristich and a foul. Well, the emphasis on Carter to get the ball down on the blocks is creating offensive opportunities. Hit. He tries to force his way through. A lot of traffic, but look, nobody to box out Kristich because as Carter goes, watch the white shirts. All the white shirts go in. Kristich right there to be able to follow it up. Maybe Kristich, nine points, five boards, and he's in double digits after the free throw. 47 to 45, Raptors, under two minutes to go. Good reaction by Lawrence Frank and company there after that timeout. Here's James, penetration, feeding Villanueva. And the mini hook wouldn't go down. James able to track it down with a new shot clock. Sliding through the screen. Watch oh, out. Whoa. Kid goes down hard. Tumbling as Bosch did not move. He stood stationary and Kid and toppled over him. Fortunately for quick hands. Watch the hands. That's the most important thing. Even though Jason Kidd comes down on the left shoulder and jams it. Watch how his hands break this fall, fortunately for him and the Nets. And Kirk Kidd remains on the floor as Bosch. Really a good example of how things you can get lucky in this game in sports sometimes. You know, if his hands gets, one or two of his hands get tied up in Bosch's body just then, he comes down on his shoulder, a different situation occurs. Fortunately for the Nets and Kidd, though. 49-45, Raptors. There's McGinnis getting a touch on the offensive end. Graham pitches over on a double team, and McGinnis can't hit the baseline delivery. Nets are at 44% shooting. James, he knew it. And James gets a technical. He pointed at Steve Chavin as he wanted a call on the jump shot. And now the Nets will get a free throw out of it. He's giving a little bit of a glare again to Steve Javi. And I would say that's a no-no. Mike's not going to win the argument. Carter at the line. <laughs> no good. And now Sam Mitchell tells James to cool it. Fifty-one forty-five. Under a minute to go. Second quarter. There's Carter. He'll stroke it. Short. James in a hurry. Bosch extra feed. Peterson goes down. No call. Kid gets it ahead. Kristich to McGinnis. Carter's up there. And McGinnis puts it out there for him as Vince comes up with a finish. Boy, did he get down the court in a hurry. Good execution there and good transition by the Nets. Once again, the Raptors looked a little bit like the Nets coming down the floor. Steve Jabby's teeing up somebody else now. Mobile line, where the Nets are 5 of 10. And Carter is now 0 for 2 at the line. Here we come down the floor. Mo Pete's going to charge through the lane here. He well, lost control. He lost control, but what Mo Pete would be him losing control. And, and Peterson just got tossed. Peterson has been ejected. Oh. Yeah, he's, I think he said that Peterson smacked Carter on the side of his head. Keep in mind, I think these two get along pretty well, too, don't they? They do. Carter and Peterson are friends. Yeah. It, 
It may have been, I don't know, I did not see it, so I'm guessing it might be the friendly gesture type thing, but we'll see. And Peterson has to be restrained. Just tossed his jersey into the crowd. Now Peterson is making the case that this was a friendly, fun gesture with Vince Carter. And now Carter has come over to talk to Steve Javi about it. Jason. So let's take a look at what happened here. Vince and Peterson. Oh, it was Vince, and then. Oh, wait a minute. Peter, well, see, there, we got. Yeah, we got uh, an issue here. Yeah, you got definitely have an issue there. Steve missed it. Yep. Es it's, especially with those two, Ian. I mean, they get along. They're friendly. I mean, he missed it. All he saw was the Peterson right. slap. He did not see Vince clowning around with Peterson. James. Knocked around, down to five seconds left. Wow, this is letting them play time, I guess, for the last five seconds or so. And the rep. Another look, Vince yeah. clowning around with yeah. Peterson. And watch, I mean, it's it's a clown around because Peterson's fooling around in both of them. I mean, it's, yep. there's no explanation. No, it's That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Now, if, if you're the referee and you look right now, and maybe that's all you catch. And you can Some technicals have been tossed out. I see him slapping you. What do you want me to do? Two seconds left. That's going the other way, I think. Offensive foul. <laughs> Lawrence Frank calling out a play. Kid turns, fires at the buzzer. Ooh. Off the rim. Come out and back the opponent <laughs> after exactly. a call like that. And one other option would have been Double technicals, which would have meant the end of Peterson anyway. As Christich is off the mark to start play in this second half. And let's see how this second half is officiated following that decision late in the second quarter. After back-to-back -to -back te technicals on Peterson. Rose can't hit. Araujo, offensive rebound, bumping bodies, and the flip. Well, what that usually indicates when a guy gets a rebound at the offensive end starting off, you're not ready to play defensively, you're not ready to block out. So, very important for the Nets over these first five minutes to get on track. Without yeah, Jefferson, yeah. Vaughn is in there. And that won't go from Kidd. Especially without Jefferson, because it changes their running game a little bit, even though Vaughn gets up and down. James, crossover. Graham inside. Banks it in. Lawrence Frank is going to hop up off the bench to make sure they get a good shot this trip down the floor. And the Raptors have matched their largest lead of the day. We are just underway, second half. A little confusion here getting into it. We've seen the Nets over this nine-game winning streak run these same sets, but a little more crisp. Jalen Rose in there for Peterson. Carter's jumper won't go. He is 6 of 17, 2-0. Coming back to Air Canada Center as a member of the Nets. And this is where if the Raptors score again, I and Lawrence Frank will opt probably to go to an early timeout here. Now Joey Graham matched up with Kidd. Stop and go. Graham outside Carter. He touches it last out of bounds. Seven to shoot. Rose gets it in. And Bosch couldn't catch it initially. Collins sticks with it. Bosch. Sticks the jump shot. Yeah, it's just an early start. Lawrence Frank allowing his team to work its, their way through it right now. If you, if you watch the motion with the Nets, guys away from the ball have to start moving a little bit better. Nated Christich nails it. And good no time out there by Lawrence Frank. Let his team, especially with an experienced point guard like Jason Kidd, let him work through it to get a little option there with the high pick and roll 12 points five rebounds for Christens Rose stripped away into the hands of Kidd as Collins got it to him. Kidd turning it up a gear and a foul is called the personal a little fake there by Rose trying to get a call and watch Kidd now put it into second gear and come right at somebody 
And once again, same thing we saw Jacques, Jacques Vaughn do that in the first half. Throw your body first and then try to throw something in that becomes a prayer and Kittle get his two. Now this is a problem. One out of two for Kidd. I like the way you put that together there. The nice. Seven point differential. That's quick math. It was on the fly. I'm like a computer. <laughs> Boy, I think I can shut, <laughs> shut down the computer right now. <laughs> Might have to restart it. Exactly. 57 to 51. Step in by Collins and a steal. And that is another turnover for Toronto. Number nine. Kid off balance delivery. And notice what's happening too when the Raptors make a lazy pass. The last couple of possessions just then, defensively the Nets are ready for it and they go. So the first two possessions, the Raptors were very strong. The Nets defense was not. It's changed a little. Nets have only turned it over three times. Araujo tried the extra feed on the cutter. Bosch. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Nets. 11 to shoot. Nice little step in by Kidd also. James moving without the ball. Vaughn sticking with him. James, good fake by James. Running one-hander. Oh, that was pretty. A nice little lofty shot just then. Along the baseline. 14 for James. Out of Amityville, New York. Here's Vaughn. Gives it up. Christian stepping into the jumper. Weak side rebound to Toronto. Araujo, kid gets a piece. Watch out. And Vaughn is hit as James went over it. And a foul will be assessed to Jacques Vaughn. A little bit of action. It's a loose ball. Vaughn going down. Looked like he was initially injured, but he's okay. Now Jacques Vaughn took the legs out from under Mike James. Vaughn has been on the floor a couple of times tonight already. Yeah, a couple of times in his career. <laughs> Rose and Kristich with a solid box out. 59-53. Good if it goes, it doesn't. But Kidd is shooting two. Not getting easy sets. We're not running digits with ten. And you're right, in this third quarter, there isn't much of a rhythm right. other than Jason Kidd sticking his head down and yeah, going to the goal. It's like, let's just barrel through some people. And once in a while, you'll pick up an offensive foul on that, but I don't, you know, Kidd does not want to, but if he does, still part of it is they go to his own right here. 59-55, Nets playing without Jefferson, Raptors playing without Peterson. Araujo can't catch it. And last touch by Toronto. Keep in mind on Araujo, he was the number eight pick last year. They had expectation levels for him to be a player right away. Kid forced to give it up, and Kristich the jump shot from the elbow. Now all of a sudden it's starting to warm up a little bit. See with the, the aftermath of Kid forcing the action. Now all of a sudden guys are starting to look for the ball a little bit more. That's player. Get your ADT autograph plans right now. Call the Nets Vonage Hotline 1-800-7-NJ-NETS or visit www.njnets.com. Drive by Rose Christich. And he and Rose, and oh. Jalen Rose just threw an elbow as Collins was trying to separate them. And Rose and Christich come together. Peace has been restored, but we've got technicals assessed probably at least on Jalen Rose yes Jalen Rose has picked it up so Kristich not happy he has something to say here Collins comes over and watch oh well, he missed it Rose had swung the elbow play just a second ago perfectly timed because this thing has a going right now with the way this is being challenged everybody going to the basket no one is going in for easy layups Kristich did not like that. At the end there, you see the high elbow, Rose. Now the Nets unable to hit on the free throw. Rose unable to hit on his first. Fully yapping going on out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, here we go again. And Mitchell has picked up a tee. <laughs> that was what I was referencing when we had the shot of Sam Mitchell doing his version of the yap. And it's... The technicals are piling up. Two technicals on Peterson. Mike James has a tee. Lawrence Frank has a tee. Jacques Vaughn misses at the line. 
Sam Mitchell has picked up a technical. And this is what led to the team, right there. Wow. Go to the basket. <laughs> the whistles are being blown so frequently, why not? Now Kent settles for the jump shot. And Bosch comes up with a rebound. The Nets are now 9 of 18 from the line. 1 of 5 on technical free throws. Calderon feeds. James is open. Book it for three. Well, and what the excitement of the technicals and the hard play, obviously the fans have gotten a little bit more involved prior to that shot, and that just helps to accelerate it. 63-57. First game of a four-game road trip for the Nets. Carter using the Christich screen. Carter went behind the back. Christich able to keep it away from James. Vaughn's jumper in and out. Christich keeps it high and lays it in. He sure did, and he also used the left hand because he had a smaller guy, James, behind him and a bigger guy in front of him, so he had to go to the left to get that off. Nice hands and footwork to get to that spot. 16 points, 7 rebounds for Christich. Back to a 4-point game. Here's Rose. A 3! Uh, a little hesitation there, too. He was thinking about driving again. We are past the halfway point of this third quarter. Raptors with a seven-point lead. Carter splits defenders. Leans in for the deuce. Well, time for somebody in Carter right there. Time for them to start to answer. And I still think I am surprised that the last four possessions, two of five by each team, no one's really challenged the glass. And a foul as Vaughn tried to work his way through a screen set by Bonner. It's the third team foul against the Nets. And my thought process there is that with the frequency of how the refs are now blowing the whistle, just drive to the basket. If there's any contact whatsoever, there's going to be a whistle blown. Murray in for Vaughn. And here is James out front. Screen from Bonner. Kid defending it. James missing from the outside. Kid finds Murray. Missed it badly, but it works as a pass to Christich. He can't stick it in. Bonner with a defensive rebound. Raptors running hard with Calderon. Rose catches and a block shot. Out of bounds. Touch last by Toronto. That was a great pace both ways. Kid was in the middle of traffic trying to get an offensive tip in. Nets really didn't have balance, and boy, did the Raptors get out in a hurry again. To no avail, though. Lamont Murray, the former Raptor, with the rejection. Christich. Bosch comes over defensively. Double team. Kid lines it up. And knocks it down, a three. And a good understanding there by Kid. He recognized that Rose, the next guy in the rotation, was only throwing a little head and shoulders fake at him. He was waiting for Kid to release the ball around the perimeter. Jason Kidd has scored eight in the quarter, 14 overall. Nets down by two. Bosch the jumper, count it. I love the way he can step out and shoot the ball. You know, he's got so many tools at the offensive end of the floor. And watch for him, you know, the next time he catches the ball, he'll put it on the floor right or left to challenge. Another post-up opportunity, this time Christens goes across the lane, and Bosch says, get it out of there. Bosch is open too, they missed him. Rose driving, and it came off his leg, out of bounds. What a denial by Chris Bosch. Well, the Nets have been starting to ride Christich a little bit, getting the ball in the blocks to him. But you are absolutely right, Bosch with a huge block. So instead they'll go Carter isolation, double team. Repost, Calderon comes again, slapped away, Collins, oh. and rejected. Bosch, Calderon and Carter. <laughs> oh boy. Calderon took a shot to the head. <laughs> he is a hard-nosed competitor. Boy, that was one of those where Calderon ends up with his head between Carter's knees as he comes through, almost as if his almost as if his body is underneath yeah. the floor. This, look at him. <laughs> this quickly became a game of twister. <laughs> Stop the music. Right leg red. <laughs> Spin Hello. again. Hello. Carter and Calderon will jump it up on the tie. -in. 
it's been fun. It has been. Uh, <laughs> thank God this is an indoor game and not an outdoor game on the in the playground. It'd be really some blood, I think. Kid, shot clock winding down. He lays it in with a dipsy do. <laughs> <laughs> the way you accentuated that. <laughs> 16 for Kidd. Yeah, I mean, that's again within two. Bosch. He missed it. Bosch missed it on the inside. Mets in transition with Kidd. The bounce and the slam. Big finish by Carter. And Air Canada soars again. And great recognition, Ian, by Kidd with just another little bit of a delay at about the three-point mark to allow Vince to get to his spot. And a 9-2 next run to tie this one up at 68. Interesting miss by Bosch down the other end, too, wasn't it? I thought he wanted to dunk it. Calderon. Bonner. And he'll shoot free throws. And Christich. Bonner knocks down the two minutes of the third quarter. Boy, the Nets just looked flat. They couldn't get anything going at the offensive end. Their defense wasn't working. And then all of a sudden, like you mentioned, Kidd started to force the action. And he took four guys, regardless who's on the floor, he took four guys into that mode with him. Carter, isolation. James, the pinch. Rose now defending it. Murray. The ball movement. And a kid triple. And that's when you use both sides of the floor. You really stretch out a defense and force them to run further rather than just the one or two hops to get to a defensive position. And the Nets have grabbed the lead thanks to 9 of 19 from the field here in the quarter. Bosch, ball fake. And that won't go with the runner. Here's Carter putting it on the floor. And a jump ball called. The reach in by Bonner to disallow the Carter drive to the hoop. And Vince puts the ball down. Nope, I think it's a pretty good call. Looks like he had the hand on the ball. Vince kind of came out smiling a little bit, which indicates to me that he didn't think he got hit. Carter and Bonner will jump it up. Coming this way to Kidd and Robinson, probably. And they get it to Kidd, the long! Can't do it any better than that. Vince Carter wins the tap. And Kidd and Carter were on the same page, leading to the alley -oop. That was pretty. Well, that was well done, too, in terms of two guys thinking ahead of the play and understanding where the tip was going to go. And a 14-4 next run. They lead by three. Working the perimeter, Toronto. Under two minutes to go in this third quarter. There's Calderon giving it up. James. Tight D from Kidd. And James able to hit the rim. Kidd up high for the rebound. Running hard. Feeding to the wing, Robinson. Kidd, he wants it. Oof. And too strong on that jump shot. But did you notice how the Raptors had trouble finding Kidd that time because they came busting down the floor? Rose with a head and shoulder fake. It's just two guys thinking. And watch how quickly the ball goes up in the air. And you know, Vince Carter is one of these guys. I and a lot of guys in the NBA, you see how quickly he goes up. A lot of guys have to load up to jump. But it almost seems like he doesn't have to load up the springs in his legs. He just gets... There's Verna. Rose hits two. 73-72 nets. A minute 14 to go in the third quarter. Kid one-on-one -on -one with Calderon. Carter, double team. Kick out to Murray. Using the whole side, both sides of the floor again. And it should be a kick ball, it will. Shot clock at 14. Game clock 59.7. Late stages of the third. Which should start to happen too is when they spread the floor like this, somebody should be able to drive by a running defender coming out to the perimeter. Here's Carter. Shot clock at five. Murray hand in his face. Rainbow three. Lamont Murray. Well, he's got a pretty looking jump shot, though, especially when he has to arch it just a little bit higher with a defender coming at him. So watch for them to keep him involved with this the pick and roll action. 12 points on five of six shooting for Murray off the bench. Calderon had it knocked free by Patchett. And the Raptors will retain it with nine to shoot. 33.7 left here in the third. Net 76, Raptors 72. Nets are averaging 104.4 points per game during this nine-game winning streak. And Robinson 
unnecessary. Absolutely. He's trying to do here is jump up, and you almost see the way I and he was trying to jump up and knock the ball back towards Byron. Absolutely. And what it turns into is 14 points, six rebounds for Chris Bosch. One out of two. Nets. 25 seconds left. Remember, Murray's been shooting the ball pretty well. There's Carter. Fans getting on him. Carter, pump fake. And rebound snatched by Bonner. Now the Raptors will hold for one. Seven seconds left. James looking to turn the corner. Kick out. Calderon. That three won't go as time expires at the Nets the first and third quarters offensively very crisp Raptors have inserted Tarek Martin the veteran point guard onto the floor Villain away but joins him will reset all the lineups as Bosch lays it in plus one Spoke a moment ago, Ian, about the tools of Bosch, even though he's missed a couple here and there. Basketball from long range, and watch him go. Once again, he's a left-handed player. Clifford Robinson has to force him, not this way, but the opposite way. Get him using that right hand, even though he's pretty... And here is Bosch to complete the three-point play. He does. We are tied at 76. Look what the Raptors have done in the fourth quarter during this five-game winning streak. Nearly 33 points per game in the fourth. And a foul call. Kidd was trying to feed Carter. Uh, and I don't know if we're going to have a pretty, in terms of the play, of the fourth quarter, but we are going to have a very aggressive fourth quarter. Cross number 13 by James. And I just think the aggressive play I will just really pick up in this first two minutes. It'll be interesting to me to see if once again if it's the same tone of the third quarter. The players attack and they get the calls. James picked up that foul. Carter oh. can't follow it. And Villanueva's got it. Martin feeds the post. Now Bosch. Isolation with Collins, turns and hits. He's gonna say an up and coming player, but he may have arrived already, huh? 19 points, six rebounds. Martin has been put in the game to annoy Jason Kidd. Well, it's, it's Jason should continue to back him down, because he'll get that call with the push in. Kidd, two man game, Paget fires. Can't hit the three. And Bonner able to elevate for the loose ball. And all of a sudden, you're feeling like a little build-up here in the crowd, right? They're getting warmed up. The momentum starting to shift a little bit. Very important for the Nets to answer and help out with Bosch with Collins. Now Bosch facing the rim. He's feeling it. Uh, is he ever feeling it? Not, that's the whole thing. I mean, Jason Collins did a nice job right there. A left-handed player is talking about it before. You want to force him right. What does Bosch do? He goes right. And it's 6'10", 6'11", you're not supposed to be able to put the ball down and shoot and float away. Watch this move, though. He stops Collins, and he floats away. And that's... Now, it's been frustrating for Bosch in his third year. Raptors haven't won much. And here's Carter for the Nets. Aggressive, fouled in the act, and a chance for three. Blocks, and watch, he's going to float around and go away from the call here. Bang. And that's exactly what he can do well. He can use that strength to feel James's and go towards the basket. Now, Carter has been averaging double figures in makes and attempts during the nine-game winning streak at the line. Just his third free throw attempt here today. And he's now one out of three. Raptors' lead is one. Just over two minutes elapsed. Fourth quarter. Here's Bosch on a kick out. Bonner, ball fake. Fouled by Carter. Carter comes from. He's going to come from the left of a right-handed shooter. You just very, very infrequently. Matt Bonner doing just about all of his damage at the free throw line where he's six of six. Eight points overall. 
82-79, Toronto. Offensive, Carter. You can just look the people, especially Lawrence Frank, wanted to say something there, but let it go. Had the technical called on him yeah. earlier. And can't risk getting another. It was Leroy Richardson who made that call. Bosch again, they're really isolating him this time against Padgett. Now Padgett being a little smaller. Bosch rims out. And Kidd comes out of it with a loose ball. Again, on the run. Kidd. Raptors get back. Padgett, open look. Can't hit the three. Follows his own shot. And Kidd will reset it. Nearly lost it to Carter, sets the feet. Kidd, unable to come up with a loose ball. And the Raptors come the other way with a three-point lead. Now it's James backing it out with Carter drawing the assignment. James jumper, bottom. This is a different team than we've seen early in the year. A month, it was only a short month ago that this Raptor team beat the Nets. But even when they beat the Miami, I didn't think they played like this. Oh! Vince Carter twisting and turning in midair for the slammer. Collins back on Bosch in the post. They make, once again, looking to get him the ball. And another foul call. That'll be team foul number three. Collins dealing with him from behind. Well, here we go upstairs again. And once again, we've touched on Vince Carter's ability to get off the floor. And here's one where he tries to dunk. Thinking of going two hands, he continues to go higher and higher and finishes off with a little bit of a twist. 23 for Carter. Collins is fourth foul. James against Murray. James off the dribble. Tip in, goes down. Villanueva was there. The rookie. Eight minutes to play. Raptors up by five. Kidd is now on the bench with Vaughn back in there. Carter lines it up and nails it for three. Can't tell you how easily Vince Carter really blasted to the free throw line and then came back to the three-point line and shot that ball. I mean, that is more difficult than what he just made that look to get some strength behind that shot. Martin, rare jump shot, Bonner couldn't catch it, and a foul call, Bonner got hit yeah, in the head. Might be Murray, I am coming down on that one. Long shots that hit the iron, especially the back iron, kick out quickly on players. And here's an example of that ball came out, Murray hits Bonner across the top of the head. And for Murray, that's his fourth foul. Collins with four, Robinson with four, Murray with four. Where is it? James was somehow able to hold on to it. Villanueva, the runner. Bosch, offensive rebound. And a reset for the Raptors. You know, I've seen Villanueva play a bunch of times. If you remember him going the little floaters through no, the lane? No, That's new to the repertoire. Yeah. Or Calhoun didn't let him. <laughs> Bosch. My guess is it's the latter of what you just said with Calhoun. The thing about the Carter sequence is how many guys in the NBA could come up with the alley-oop that he did and then on the very next offensive possession nail a long three. The spin, it goes down. Raptors won an offensive goaltending. Who got the bucket there, Carter? He did. Yep. On a layup. 28 for Carter. James. Bonner falls into it. Banks it through. Well, Bonner is just running freely right now, and I know he's not the offensive weapon that you have to concern yourself with with the Raptors, but you must get a body on him. Carter had it knocked away. Bosch slip and lays it in. He may have turned up, changed an ankle, but just about at the midway point, fourth quarter. Raptors are 10 and 7 since December 1st. Much improved team. 
Carter, three white jerseys were in the area. Now Carter banks it in. Vince Carter, creative. And nice and creative, Ian, to get the ball out of his hands initially. He had a triple team on him, so he released the kid. And what does kid do? He gets it right back to him when the release of the triple team occurs. Kamenetzer within two. Here's Villanueva looking. 5.25 to go. James in a mismatch with Collins. Shot clock is down to three. Here's James on the jump shot. Got it! And we talk about big guys posting up little guys. When little guys have big guys out on the floor, size is neutralized, and that's kind of like a post up from 20 for a little guy like James to get his shot off. Back to a 4-4 game. Bonner keeps running the double team Carter. Carter. And the Raptors save it. Vince is 14 of 30 from the field. He's got 30 points. James setting things up. High screen, Villanueva. Collins shows. James is open. Kristich got buckled because of the push from behind. Let's remember what's on the line here. The Nets looking to extend their winning streak to 10. Raptors trying to win their sixth in a row. Nets interaction with a three and a half game lead in the Atlantic Division and the second best record in the East via winning percentage. Double team Carter. Somebody else will have to step forward. Kristich. And knocked around, controlled by James. Raptors with the ball and a four point lead. And this is where they'll try to spread the floor also. Just like the Nets are trying to get Carter involved. Obviously, Bosch is the guy. Double on Bosch. Villanueva, six to shoot. A three. That's what the Nets wanted. A little bit of a forced, contended three. Long rebound. Kid to Collins. Offensive oh, foul. It's Collins running alongside. A rare occurrence. As Kidd looked to his right, and there was the Nets big man picking up his fifth. And interesting enough, well, I'm not sure if the position was totally there. I think Jacques Vaughn was open on the left also. So Collins will sit. Robinson, who has four personal fouls, checks in. And we are down to 3.50 remaining, fourth quarter. James, stutter step. Good skip pass. Bonner, a three. And it's rebounded by Robinson. Kid off to the races again. This time to Vaughn. Underneath, he doesn't get the roll. Great drive by Vaughn there. Just unfortunate because he had the proper spin on the ball and it just hung on the rim for a split second too long and just dribbled off for him. You think the Nets missed Richard Jefferson on the break or what? James pops and hits. Well taken. Point well taken, I, because Jefferson in that situation probably ends up the line, worst case, if not dunking the ball. And now Toronto has opened up a six-point lead. Nets need a bucket here. And it needs something going towards the basket. Three minutes to play. Robinson, the jump shot. Count it. Kid picking it apart once again with the defense is slipping through the middle of the floor. 94 to 90, Robinson is first two of the day. Inside, foul on Carter. And Air Canada Center. Nets starting off a four game road trip. And the Raptors with the line. James has scored 23 for Toronto. Two out of two for Bosch. One of the things that have impressed me with the Raptors also on versus even that last month that we talked about is how they're continuing with their offense to really put a lot of pressure on the Nets and forcing the action rather than playing cautiously. And the 14 foul against Toronto. James called on the bump. And a side out for the Nets with 14 to shoot. Keep going back to the Carter well, huh? He's going to keep riding them down on the blocks and force the, the Raptors to make decisions double teams triple teams and then hope that vince makes his good decisions there feed it go. to carter double team comes there you go extra feed and christens can't stuff it bosh with the hand on the ball again lawrence frank up off the bench looking for a call well executed at the offensive end though 
Calderon. Huge possession right here. Gets around Carter. Out of bounds, last touch by the Nets. Five to shoot. Oh, about that. Vince Carter. Played in nearly seven full seasons as a Raptor, and this is the update now on the trade. Here, very nice passing to get to this point. Boy, I'm not sure. It may have been clean. Clean block. Yep. Okay. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Villanueva, the drive, the dish. Bosch on target. Well, that's good work of the bench with the Raptors because they got it to a big guy to a big guy, which usually goes against the grain. And a 12-4 run for Toronto to take an eight-point lead. Nets need points in a hurry now. Kidd lines it up. And bottom for three. They need him in a hurry, but very good decision by Robinson just then because I thought he was going to launch that shot when he wasn't ready just for the sake of getting a quick shot off. Terrific pass to Kidd for a much better shot and much better luck. 98-93, Raptors, Christian shows on defense. Now James looking for an opening, five to shoot. Kidd sticks with him, James the dish, Villanueva, can't hit the three. Watch Kidd try to force the action. Kidd, straight down the middle, the flip, oh. no, the follow goes down for Carter. Nice job by the Nets, funneling down the floor because they're thinking the same way Kidd is. Kid they know is going to go right down the middle and try to create something, force the action. Great job by four of the other guys coming back after him. Back to a one possession game. 12 to shoot. James, a three. Count it. Big shot for Mike James. James making plays, and the Raptors up by six. You see Kid coming down the floor, really stamping his will on this drive and then rolls off the corner following the play understanding what there's Carter fend off floater no tip in yes well you're right about the fend off he just pushed James out of the way on that trip and it's 101 to 97 48 seconds left and that, that's may need for a little jump double team if they get an opportunity on a switch off defensively, Robinson now dealing with James, using the clock. Seven seconds to shoot. James wants it. No good. And Carter cleans the glass. Nets are down by four. Carter's three. He's got it. Nets down by one. Oh, you talk about confidence coming down the floor. This is where the Nets are in trouble, though. They probably have to foul right there. Good, yeah, they do. Good decision by Lawrence Frank. Get uh, the guys coming down the floor in a hurry. The shot clock working against them, so that no choice. You just can't take a chance. Calderon, excellent free throw shooter, 87%. What it does is it bides them a lot of time, and they're not down. They still have 21 and a half seconds, even though you're down three points. Still gives you some room. Looking for their 10th consecutive win. And Vince Carter, the playmaker, down the stretch for the Nets. And when you look at the Nets coming down the floor right here, watch Jason Kidd once again. Delay, delay, delay. Let Carter get to a spot where he can shoot the ball from long range. So it's a combination of Kidd to Carter. Or maybe the Nets go right to the basket with it. Nets are out of timeouts. They trail 103 to 100. Here's Murray, 16 seconds left. Well, now you got to start thinking three. Because the shot clock. What? Carter, the bump. And a foul call. Vince Carter will shoot free throws with 10.9. At home. Uh, and that set kind of went the way the Raptors defended it. Went against the, the grain. Because usually you want to drive immediately if you're going to drive. You hear an overhead. They were showing that play. They thought it might have been a charge. Carter right in with, with the Raptors. The Nets have to go to a steal fouling mode. And he nails the free throw. Raptors are going to trigger it. Or are they? Villanueva will take the timeout. Between Bonner, Calderon, James, Bosch, and Rose. Get it into Calderon. Whoa, they, they tried to foul. No call. Wow. And more time came off the clock. Vince Carter wants an explanation. And in that one, too, I know the refs are not supposed to anticipate anything, Ian, but in that situation, Raptors throw a guard or two up the floor just to slow somebody down. No good. The door is open for the Nets. Enough time, though. Kid, three seconds. Carter looking for the win. He buries it. Vince Carter back in Toronto.
with a bang. Point one remaining. Welcome home. <laughs> Incredibly timed. Calderon right there. What? Just an unbelievable shot by Vince Carter to cap this off with point, point 0.1 seconds on the clock, which is just a tip play, arguably, for the Raptors. But Kidd once again setting him up, and he gets another great look at the basket. Oh, step it up and finish it off. Well, Vince Carter has done that before. Thousand. At Boston in March, Carter beats the buzzer. Celebration occurs. And right here at Air Canada Center against the Clippers, Carter did it. And did it with style. 